This video is going to reveal a truth that most men refuse to see. In the process of getting to know a woman, they lie. These lies not only deceive you but also cause great disappointment and destroy your emotional state. To prevent you from going through this, I will expose these lies. By paying attention until the end, you won't be fooled and will be able to decipher a woman's true intentions. Leave your like now because this video is going to blow your mind with so much truth. Let's go. Number 1. The Illusion of Quick Interest Imagine a situation you've probably experienced. You start chatting with a woman online just for a few days and already think about meeting her. Then she says something like, I'm so excited to meet you, I think we can work together. Pay attention. Listen to what I'm about to say to avoid disappointment and suffering. The way she talks is misleading, trying to make you believe that she is already developing feelings for you. But in reality, that's not true. Let's be realistic. A true feeling doesn't develop that fast, especially with someone you haven't even met in person. In reality, what she feels for you is just physical and superficial attraction. Unless you've created a strong emotional connection, which is not easy at all. In that case, yes, we could consider that she is starting to like you. But if that emotional connection doesn't exist and you haven't even seen each other, what she feels is just a physical attraction based on your photos, something very superficial. Even if she shows interest and says she wants to meet you, she may be doing this just to keep you interested without wanting to lose sight of you. You can keep getting to know her, no problem. But it would be very naive to think she is only talking to you. She is talking to you and several others at the same time, and you will be disappointed when she suddenly loses interest in you. This will happen when she finds someone she finds more attractive or who connects better with her. Therefore, the best way to deal with this situation when a woman says these kinds of things is not to create expectations. Keep getting to know her. Go out with her. But keep your feet on the ground. After a few dates, you will know what her true intentions are. It's important to understand that many women can use these charming words as a strategy to catch your attention and keep you hooked. These statements can be especially effective if you are lacking attention or seeking emotional validation. The desire to believe that someone is already in love with you can blind you to reality. She may be saying the same thing to several men at the same time. This behavior is not exclusive to one person, it's a common tactic in the online dating world. By spreading her interest broadly, she increases the chances of finding someone who really sparks her long-term interest. It's not personal, it's just a way of keeping options open. You need to observe her actions, not just her words. If she is really interested, she will want to invest time and effort to get to know you better beyond messages and empty promises. This includes organizing dates, keeping regular contact, and showing genuine interest in your conversations. Otherwise, it's just a game for her. Also, pay attention to how she reacts to your responses and behaviors. If she becomes defensive or evasive when you try to deepen the conversation or make concrete plans to meet, that's a sign that her intentions are not as sincere as they seem. She may be more interested in the attention you give her than in developing a real relationship. So, as you keep getting to know her, ask questions that really matter and observe her answers and reactions. Keep your expectations in check and protect your emotional well-being. This way, you will be better prepared to recognize her true intentions and make decisions that protect your well-being. Number 2. The lie of I'm not ready for a relationship. Another lie that many women tell and that deceives many men is, I don't feel like getting into a relationship right now, or I'm not ready for a relationship now. This phrase is so common, but 99% of the time it's a blatant lie. They use this to hide two things. First, if they are at the beginning of the process of getting to know each other in the first conversations and she realizes that you are not looking for something serious, she may step back if she is only interested in a serious relationship. 
However, if she wants a relationship and really likes you, she may accept to start just casually dating. So, she says she doesn't feel like a relationship, just not to seem needy or desperate. She doesn't want you to think she is going to be after you. Deep down, she is totally willing to start dating. The second reason for this phrase you will have verified or will verify one day. If you have already gone out with her or even see her regularly and she tells you that she is not ready to date, it's just a delicate way of saying she doesn't want to date you. Understand this now. You won't be deceived when you hear this phrase. Look, by nature, it's common for a single woman always to be ready to get into a relationship. Almost always they want to date, unlike men. Women have a greater emotional need. They like to be with someone who offers them affection, who cares for them, and is a companion to talk and share moments. That woman who told you she doesn't want to date, if you are observant, you will see through posts and memes on social media that in a careless way, she will demonstrate that desire to find a man. If you didn't attract her enough, or if she doesn't feel you are the right man, when you show interest in a relationship and she dodges saying she is not ready, it's likely she is comfortable staying with you and with other guys. She doesn't think it's worth leaving that to be exclusively with you. So, when you are looking for a serious relationship, don't invest in this woman. You will confirm that she lies by saying she doesn't feel like dating when you see her dating another guy. But don't take it personally. This doesn't mean you are not an ideal man to date. It just means she didn't find you as the ideal man for her at that time. Let's go into more detail. Suppose you have gone out a few times and had fun together. You feel there is a connection and decide you want something more serious. She then drops the famous phrase, I'm not ready to be in a relationship. At this point, you may feel confused and disappointed, wondering what went wrong. But the truth is simple. She doesn't see you as the ideal partner for a commitment. She may like your company, she may have fun with you, but deep down, she doesn't see potential for a lasting relationship. This can be for various reasons. Maybe she doesn't feel that special spark. Maybe she doesn't see long-term compatibility. Or simply, she prefers to keep her options open. Moreover, observe her actions outside of dates. She remains active on social media, posting photos and stories that show a more personal and intimate side. If she really wasn't ready to date, these posts would reflect a more reserved attitude focused on other areas of life, like work or hobbies. On the contrary, if you notice she is always interacting with other men and seems to be constantly seeking attention, that's a clear sign she is just keeping her options open. It's also common for her to use this phrase as a way to maintain control of the situation. By saying she is not ready to date, she puts you in a waiting position while she decides what she really wants. This can prolong your uncertainty and keep you in a state of hope, waiting for her to change her mind someday. Therefore, the best way to deal with this is to accept her words as a sign to move on. Don't invest your time and energy in someone who is not ready to give it back to you in the same way. There are many other women who will be willing to have a serious relationship with you. In conclusion, the phrase, I'm not ready to date, is usually an excuse to hide the truth. She may be interested in keeping her options open, avoiding appearing needy, or simply not interested in you as a long-term partner. Whatever the reason, don't waste your time insisting. Move on and find someone who really wants to be with you. Number three, the excuse of I'm not good enough for you. One of the most used excuses that undoubtedly confuses many men is when a woman says, I'm not good enough for you. At first glance, this may seem like a disguised compliment or an expression of insecurity, but it's important to decipher what is really behind this phrase. When a woman says she is not good enough for you, she is usually trying to soften the blow of a possible breakup or distancing. She wants to avoid hurting you directly and prefers to use an approach that makes you think the problem is with her and not with you. Deep down, she may be wanting to end things without seeming like the villain of the story. In some cases, this phrase may reflect a fear of commitment. 
She may be unsure about the future of the relationship, and by saying she is not good enough, she is trying to give you an exit to avoid a more serious commitment. This doesn't mean she truly believes it, but she wants to push you away without creating a direct confrontation. Another possibility is that she is interested in someone else and uses this excuse to end the relationship without hurting you directly. By saying she is not good enough, she hopes you accept the breakup without questioning too much, easing her guilt. Of course, there is the possibility that she is indeed dealing with self-esteem issues and genuinely believes she is not good enough. In that case, the situation can be more complex as it involves her personal issues that need to be resolved. If you hear this excuse, it's essential not to let yourself be carried away by emotional confusion. Evaluate her behavior and the circumstances around the relationship. If she is indeed interested in someone else or showing disinterest, it might be better to move on. On the other hand, if you believe she genuinely has self-esteem issues, the approach may require more patience and support but always remembering to take care of your own emotional well-being. Ultimately, what is important is to seek the truth behind the words. If she is trying to soften a breakup or avoid commitment, it's better to face the situation head-on and make decisions based on reality, not on excuses that only prolong the pain. In conclusion, the excuse of, I'm not good enough for you, is an indirect way of addressing deeper issues in the relationship. Understanding what is really happening can help you deal better with the situation and move on in a healthier way. Number 4. The False Exclusivity Have you ever received an intimate photo from a woman? Have you heard something like, I never send these kinds of photos to anyone. You are the first one I'm sending a photo like this to. Only a very naive man would believe this. It's much more likely that she is lying than that you are the first to receive this kind of photo. You don't need to judge her for sending you an intimate photo, but you should be skeptical about the exclusivity she suggests. When she says these kinds of things, she fears your judgment. She doesn't want you to think she sends these kinds of photos to anyone. So, she prefers to make you feel special, implying that only you have achieved this with her. In some cases, this really happens, but these cases are very rare. If she sends you a photo that seems to have been taken at another time and was already stored on her phone, then it's obvious that the photo was not taken exclusively for you. Another important point is when she says she doesn't care about looks. Surely you have heard this from some woman. Don't be fooled. If she was really attracted to you, she was surely also attracted by your looks. What she means, in reality, is that looks are not the only thing she takes into account to get involved with a man. But, without a doubt, looks are a requirement that awakens attraction in her, just like for all other women. Just like it is for you, too! Based on my experiences in various situations with women, I came to a conclusion and I'm going to reveal it to you. This is a true key to dealing with them. To know a woman's true intentions, don't consider what she says, but her actions and the way she behaves. It's common for women to say things that don't match what they really feel. If, for example, she told you that she is very interested in you, but you see her posting on stories and online most of the time, and she takes a long time to respond to you, despite saying she is interested, her actions show that she is not that interested. She is surely prioritizing other guys. Another example is if she said she doesn't like muscular men, but she is always liking photos of muscular men. This is another example of how what she says means nothing, and her behavior shows what she really feels. Let's go deeper. When a woman says you are special and sends you an intimate photo, observe the context. Did she send that photo spontaneously, or was it something you asked for? If it was spontaneous, question the motive. Is she trying to conquer you quickly or gain your trust in a superficial way? Does the photo look recent, or is it clearly from another occasion? Also, observe how she interacts with you on social media and in daily conversations. If she really finds you special, she will demonstrate it with more than words. She will want to get to know you better, ask questions about your life, your interests, 
and share things about herself too. If her behavior doesn't match the words, it's a big red flag. Take this into consideration, be observant, and you will reduce the chances of being deceived by a woman. You will be able to know her true intentions and avoid disappointments. Don't be carried away by sweet words or superficial gestures. Look for the truth in her actions and behaviors. This way, you will be more prepared to understand her true intentions and act accordingly. Number 5. The Silence Manipulation Let's talk about a very common and extremely manipulative tactic. The Silence Manipulation Some women use silence as a form of emotional control. They ignore you, stop responding to your messages or calls without any explanation, and simply give you the silent treatment. This behavior is not just childish. It's a toxic way of making you feel guilty, anxious, and desperate for a response or reconciliation. When a woman uses silence as a weapon, she is trying to put you in a state of uncertainty and insecurity. She knows that by ignoring you, you become anxious and willing to do anything to get her attention back. This is a form of emotional control. This behavior aims to undermine your confidence and make you dependent on her validation. The prolonged silence can be a strategy to see how far you will go to try to please her. She wants to see if you will beg for attention, send multiple messages or calls, or even apologize for something you don't even know what you did. This gives her a sense of power and control over your emotions and reactions. To deal with this, stay calm and don't give in to the temptation to run after her desperately. Continue with your life, show that you don't depend on her attention to be happy. Keep up with your daily activities, go out with friends, take care of yourself, and show that you are self-sufficient. If she perceives that her silence doesn't affect you the way she expects, she may reconsider this approach. This type of behavior is a clear sign of a toxic dynamic that should be addressed seriously. If a woman constantly uses silence to manipulate your emotions, this indicates a pattern of behavior that is not healthy for any relationship. It's crucial to recognize this early to avoid bigger problems in the future. No matter how tempting it is to send multiple messages or desperately try to get her attention, remember to maintain your dignity. Responding to silence with more silence is an effective way to show that you won't be manipulated. This doesn't mean you are ignoring her feelings but establishing clear boundaries about how you want to be treated. The silence manipulation is a common and toxic tactic used to control emotionally. Recognizing this behavior and reacting firmly and calmly is essential to maintaining your emotional health and dignity. Don't let someone's silence manipulate you. Show that you are self-sufficient and keep living your life fully. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any video. We will continue to unravel the lies and tactics used to deceive, helping you navigate the world of relationships with more security and knowledge. Number 6. The Fake Vulnerability Another trick some women use is faking vulnerability to gain your sympathy and manipulate your emotions. They tell sad stories about their past, exaggerate their current problems, or pretend to be in difficult situations so you feel sorry and consequently do whatever they want. For example, she may constantly talk about how she was mistreated in past relationships, creating a victim image to justify toxic behaviors or excessive demands. She does this to trap you emotionally, making you feel responsible for fixing her life. This behavior is a very powerful form of emotional manipulation as it awakens in you the instinct of protection and care. To deal with this, be empathetic but also analytical. Don't let your empathy turn into emotional blindness. Observe if there is a pattern of manipulated behavior in her stories. If everything always revolves around her being the victim and you being the savior, be careful. Healthy relationships are based on collaboration and reciprocity, not emotional manipulation. Let's detail with some specific examples. Imagine that whenever you argue, she quickly starts talking about how her ex mistreated her and how that left her emotionally fragile. 
This may be a way to divert attention from the current problem and make you feel guilty for bringing it up. Another common situation is that she exaggerates financial or family problems. She may ask for financial help frequently, claiming she is going through a tough phase. This not only puts you in the position of a provider, but also creates an emotional and financial dependency that can be hard to break. To deal with these situations, maintain empathy but set clear boundaries. Be supportive but observe if your actions are being manipulated. Ask yourself if the support you are offering is being reciprocated in any way. Relationships are a two-way street and both parties should feel valued and respected. If you notice that she constantly resorts to sad stories to justify inappropriate behaviors, question the truth and frequency of these stories. Genuinely vulnerable people seek support, not manipulation. They don't use their experiences to control or dictate others' behavior. These tactics of fake vulnerability create a power dynamic where she has emotional control over you. This can lead to an unbalanced relationship where your needs and feelings are constantly sidelined. It's important to recognize these signs early to avoid getting involved in a toxic relationship. Fake vulnerability is a manipulative tactic used to gain emotional control. Recognize the signs, set boundaries, and value your own dignity. Healthy relationships are built on reciprocity and mutual respect, not emotional manipulation. Number 7. The Comparison Game Have you ever found yourself being constantly compared to other men? If a woman is always comparing you to other men, her friends, ex-boyfriends, or even celebrities, this is a clear sign of manipulation and lack of respect. These comparisons are made to destabilize you emotionally, making you feel that you are never good enough. She may say things like, why can't you be more like so-and-so, or my ex used to do this for me, undermining your confidence and making you insecure. This behavior is a subtle form of emotional control, projecting a constant feeling of inadequacy on you. She uses these comparisons to create an unattainable standard, making you feel constantly inferior and anxious to please her. These comparisons not only affect your self-esteem, but also create an environment of unnecessary competition. You start doubting yourself, wondering if you are really good enough or if you need to change to meet her expectations. This can lead to a vicious cycle of self-questioning and insecurity. To deal with this, make it clear that you don't accept being compared to others. Explain that each person is unique and that such comparisons are unfair and harmful. Say something like, I understand that you have had different experiences in the past, but comparing me to other people is neither fair nor constructive. I am who I am and our relationship should be based on what we have together, not on what other people did. Set clear boundaries. If she continues with this behavior, reevaluate if it is worth continuing in that relationship. Constant comparison is a sign that she is not appreciating who you really are, but idealizing characteristics of other people. This is unfair and harms the development of a healthy and authentic relationship. Reinforce the idea that each person has their own qualities and that you deserve to be valued for who you are, not for how you compare to others. Say, I value who you are as an individual and I expect the same in return. Constant comparisons do not help build a strong and healthy relationship. If she continues with this behavior even after you have explained how you feel, it may be time to reevaluate the relationship. You deserve to be with someone who values you for who you are, not for how you compare to others. Relationships based on comparisons tend to be unsatisfactory and harmful in the long run. The comparison game is a manipulative tactic that undermines your confidence and creates a toxic environment. Recognize this behavior, set firm boundaries, and value your individuality. 
Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and valuing each other's unique qualities. Number 8. The Financial Manipulation Another form of manipulation that many problematic women use is financial manipulation. This can start subtly, with small requests for money or gifts, but can quickly escalate to something more serious. She may start asking for money regularly, justify her needs with emotional excuses, or even make you feel guilty for not providing financially. At first, the requests may seem innocent, help to pay a bill here, a gift there. However, these small requests can become frequent and more expensive. She may use emotional arguments like, I'm going through a tough time, or if you really cared, you would help me, making you feel responsible for her finances. Over time, financial manipulation can intensify. She may start asking for larger amounts of money, justify her needs with sad stories or seemingly urgent problems, and make you feel guilty if you refuse. This dynamic creates a financial dependency, where you become the main provider, often without receiving anything in return. To deal with this, set clear boundaries from the beginning. Don't feel obligated to provide financially if that is not something natural and consensual in the relationship. Be honest and direct. I care a lot about you, but I can't solve all your financial problems. We need to find a balance where we both contribute to the relationship fairly. Define financial boundaries and stick to them. If she starts making you feel guilty for not giving money or gifts, see that as a sign of manipulation. Say something like, I want to help, but I can't take on all the financial responsibilities. We need to work together to find solutions. Pay attention to how she reacts when you set boundaries. If she becomes aggressive, dramatic, or tries to manipulate your emotions, this is a clear sign that she is more interested in your money than in you. Healthy relationships are based on mutual support, not financial exploitation. Healthy relationships involve mutual support and respect for each other's limitations. Both should contribute to the relationship in a balanced way, whether financially, emotionally, or in other ways. If you notice you are being financially exploited, it's time to reevaluate the relationship. Financial manipulation is a common tactic used to exploit someone's goodwill and resources. Recognize the signs, set boundaries, and maintain your dignity. Healthy relationships are built on mutual support and reciprocity, not exploitation. Number 9. The Boundary Testing Some problematic women test your boundaries in various ways to see how far they can go without losing you. They do this through small acts of disrespect, derogatory comments, or inconsistent behavior. If you don't react or set boundaries, they continue testing, gradually increasing the intensity of the contempt. For example, she may start with subtle comments about your clothes, friends, or hobbies. Something like, Are you really going to wear that? Or, Why do you keep hanging out with that friend? These comments seem harmless at first, but are the first steps to see how far she can go. If you don't stand up for yourself, she may start making more personal and offensive comments. Over time, subtle comments can turn into direct attacks on your personality and decisions. She may criticize your life choices, make bad jokes at your expense, or belittle your achievements. This behavior is not only toxic, but also a way to see how far she can manipulate you without facing consequences. To deal with this, be firm and consistent. Set clear boundaries and make sure they are respected. Say something like, I don't accept being treated this way. Your comments are derogatory and need to stop. Show that you value yourself and won't accept being treated inappropriately. Don't tolerate disrespect, no matter how small it may seem. If she makes a derogatory comment, react immediately. I didn't like what you said. We need to talk about how we treat each other. 
It's crucial to set these boundaries from the beginning to prevent toxic behavior from escalating. Pay attention to how she reacts when you set boundaries. If she apologizes and tries to change, that's a positive sign. However, if she ignores your feelings, minimizes your concerns, or continues testing your boundaries, that's a sign her behavior is not going to change. If she continues testing your boundaries, reevaluate if it's worth keeping this relationship. A healthy relationship is based on mutual respect and valuing each other's unique qualities. If she can't respect your boundaries and continues disrespecting you, it's time to reconsider the viability of this relationship. The boundary testing is a manipulative tactic used to see how far someone can be controlled without facing consequences. Recognize the signs, set firm boundaries, and value yourself. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect, and you deserve to be with someone who treats you with the dignity you deserve. Number 10. The Guilt Play Some women have an exceptional ability to make you feel guilty for things that are not your responsibility. They may blame you for their own problems, insecurities or failures, diverting responsibility from themselves and placing it on you. For example, if she always says things like, if you really loved me, you would do this for me, or it's your fault that I'm unhappy, she is manipulating you emotionally. This behavior is toxic and unfair, as no one should be responsible for another person's personal problems. She uses guilt to control your actions and feelings, making you feel constantly responsible for her well-being. This type of manipulation can lead to a constant feeling of inadequacy and insecurity. You start believing that everything that goes wrong is your fault, undermining your self-esteem and confidence. It can also create a cycle of guilt where you feel compelled to do everything she asks to avoid conflict and try to keep peace in the relationship. To deal with this, stay calm and don't give in to the temptation to take the blame for everything. Recognize when something is your responsibility, but don't accept being the scapegoat for all her problems. Say something like, I understand that you're upset, but blaming me for everything is not fair. We need to resolve our issues together without pointing fingers. Communicate clearly that each person is responsible for their own emotions and that you won't accept being manipulated in this way. Healthy relationships are built on mutual responsibility and respect, not guilt and manipulation. Set firm boundaries on what you are willing to accept and stay true to those boundaries. Say, I'm here to support you, but I can't be responsible for all your emotions. We need to work together to resolve our problems, and that means both of us taking responsibility. This type of communication helps establish a clear understanding that guilt is not an acceptable tool in the relationship. If she continues using guilt as a form of manipulation, reevaluate the relationship. Ask yourself if this pattern of behavior is something you can deal with in the long run. Remember that you deserve to be in a relationship where your emotions and contributions are valued and respected. The guilt play is a manipulative tactic intended to divert responsibilities and control emotionally. Recognize the signs, stay calm, and set clear boundaries. Healthy relationships are built on mutual responsibility and respect. Don't let emotional manipulation undermine your self-esteem and confidence. Recognizing and dealing with manipulative tactics in a relationship is essential for maintaining your emotional health and establishing healthy and balanced relationships. From false exclusivity to the guilt play, all these behaviors have a common goal. Emotional control. Set clear boundaries, value your individuality, and don't allow yourself to be manipulated. Relationships should be based on mutual respect, support, and reciprocity. Remember, you deserve to be in a relationship where your emotions and contributions are valued and respected. Subscribe to the channel 
activate the bell and keep following us for more insights and advice on navigating relationship challenges. See you in the next video.